In this video, we'll see how we can apply a chalk effect to anything in Inkscape using a custom filter. Just for fun, let's start by importing an image of a chalkboard by going to File, Import. I'll use this blackboard image here, and if you want to use the same image to follow along, you can find a link to it in the description box below. Alright, I'll double click the image, then click OK here. Using the Select tool, I'll grab one of the scale handles and scale up the image, and if I hold down Control, it will maintain the aspect ratio. Ok, now let's create our first object. It could be anything we want, I'll go with a text object. I'll go back to the Select tool, scale up the text object while holding Control, and I'll make the text white, then move it onto the blackboard. Alright, and to give our object a chalk effect, let's first go up to Filters, then down to Filter Editor, which opens up the Filter Editor dialog. With this dialog, we can create our own custom filters. To do so, let's click the New button down here, and now we have a new filter labeled Filter 0. It's not necessary to rename the filter, but just in case we want to add more filters later, let's go ahead and rename this one by clicking its name, then typing a new one. I'll type Chalk and press Enter. Ok, and to actually apply the filter to the selected object, we have to check this box here next to it. This causes the object to disappear, and that's because we haven't yet added any effects to the filter. To see all of the available effects, we can drop down this box here, which currently says Blend. For the first effect, let's choose Turbulence here at the bottom. And to actually add the effect to the filter, we click the Add Effect button here. If I move the text object off the blackboard for the moment, we can see that the turbulence effect adds some noise to the object. This effect is good for creating things like clouds and smoke, and we can change how the effect looks by changing its parameters here. For the chalk effect, let's keep the type on turbulence, set base frequency to something high like 70, keep octaves on 1 and seed on 0. Alright, now we need to add another effect to our filter. For this one, let's go with Composite and click Add Effect. If we look here, we have two arrows next to the Composite effect. If we click and hold on the top arrow, then drag it over to the Source Graphic box here and Release, we get the color of our object back. However, at the moment, the turbulence is showing outside of the color, but we want to show it inside the color instead. To do this, we simply need to change the Operator parameter here to Out. There we go. Now one more thing we want to do to make this really look like chalk is we want to roughen the edges a bit. To do this, let's drop down the effects box again and choose displacement map, then click add effect. Now let's grab the effects bottom arrow, drag it up to the turbulence effect and release. Ok, now if we start increasing the displacement map scale parameter, it'll start to roughen the edges. I find that a scale of about 4 or 5 gives it a nice chalky look. And a cool thing about this is that we can still edit the object like normal. For example, I can change the text of this, and I can change the font. We can also open up the fill and stroke dialog and change the color. Bright desaturated colors tend to look best. Alright, now if we wanted to add the chalk effect to a different object, one way is to first create the object, then with the object selected, we can go to the Filter Editor and check the Chalk Filter. But to avoid having to keep adding the filter to the individual objects, we can first create a group of objects and apply the Chalk Filter to it. Then if we add any more objects to the group, they will automatically have the Chalk Filter applied to them. To do this, let's select both of these objects and we first want to remove the chalk filter from them by unchecking the box next to the filter. Now let's group these objects together, either by right clicking one of them and choosing Group, or by using the shortcut Ctrl G. And now if we apply the chalk filter to the group as a whole, both objects in the group will receive the effect. And if we enter inside the group, either by right clicking one of the objects and choosing Enter Group, or by double clicking one of the objects, any object we create inside the group will get the chalk effect. That's how we can apply a chalk effect to objects in Inkscape. 
If you would like some more tutorials on creating custom filters, please let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching.